Hello, Anthony Fasano here from Pass the PE Exam. In this video, I'll be talking about how you can cancel or reschedule your PE exam and also explain the costs involved in canceling or rescheduling. This episode is brought to you by PPI, a leader in engineering exam prep for the FE and PE exams since 1975. PPI provides expert prep courses and study resources designed to help you pass the PE exam the first time. PPI's live online courses include hours of lectures, problem solving demonstrations, exam strategy sessions, office hours, and a passing guarantee. When you take a live online course, PPI guarantees you will pass or you can take the on-demand course for free. With study guides, practice exams, and more, the PPI Learning Hub offers digital practice and review that you can take with you anywhere you have a device so that you can prepare during the times most convenient for you. Check out PPI today at ppi2pass.com to see all the options available for PE exam prep. Let's dive in. Both the NCWS and Pearson View understand that circumstances may arise that require you to reschedule or cancel your attendance at the PE exam. You may cancel or reschedule your appointment through your My NCWS account by selecting the Modify Appointment option and following the on-screen instructions. However, you should know that canceling your exam will also cancel your authorization to test and require you to reapply and pay for the exam next time. If applicable, refunds will be automatically applied by NCWS. You may be entitled to a refund depending on the date that you cancel or reschedule your exam. Applicable refunds will be processed automatically and applied to the same credit card used when registering for the exam within 7 to 10 business days. All reschedule fees are payable directly to Pearson View and are subject to applicable Pearson View fees. It is important to know that examinees who reschedule less than 48 hours in advance of their scheduled appointment will pay a higher fee than those who reschedule more than 48 hours in advance of their scheduled appointment. You may cancel your exam as long as you do so more than 48 hours in advance of your scheduled appointment. That's an important point. Cancellations that are received more than 48 hours in advance of a scheduled appointment will be eligible for a refund of the NCWS registration fee less a $50 administrative fee. Cancellations are not allowed within 48 hours of a scheduled appointment. If on the day of the exam, you are unable to attend the exam for any of the following reasons, you may be allowed to reschedule without paying a rescheduling fee or may be allowed to cancel with a full refund. The reasons being illness, either yourself or an immediate family member, death in the immediate family, disabling traffic accident, court appearance or jury duty, or military duty. To avoid monetary penalties in such situations, you will be required to provide reasonable documentation to NCWS within 14 days of your originally scheduled appointment, confirming why you were unable to test as scheduled. If you have an issue regarding a payment or refund, you may contact NCWS directly at 864-654-6824. Fees associated with chargebacks, return checks, or any form of disputed payment are the responsibility of the issuer. I hope you found this week's video helpful. In upcoming videos, I will solve more PE exam practice problems and answer other questions from our subscribers. Past the PE exam videos will publish weekly, so please be sure to click that subscribe button so you don't miss something that could make a substantial difference in your exam result. And please, I encourage you to ask questions and leave comments below this video, and I will respond to you. Let me know if there's a specific topic you'd like me to tackle, or maybe a specific question that you need answered. Pass the PE exam, we'll have you covered. I'll see you next week on Pass the PE exam.